there is a guy who asked me a very critical question yesterday a young man vibrant and viciously ambitious about the state of affairs of our country and how they should be managed so he was asking me Zach what is your political philosophy where do you stand in the ideology of politics and saying hmm that's a good question if I have ever thought about it and to be honest I think whether I am leftist or right whether I'm a centrist I have come to consolidate my thoughts around a future in our country where all of the born children within our country the bona fide citizen will have enough for their household and for their children I have come to envisage and envision a nation where the medical care is provided for the old the vulnerable the working class as well as those who are dependents on all the classes where you can walk to a hospital find drugs to treat your disease find clinical officers and doctors and find that the human resource within a hospital is fit for purpose and for all i like to think that there shall be a kenya where basic education is defined in the constitution up to uh, grade 14 13 shall be free for all i like to think there shall be a kenya where every child born of a kenyan or every child born in kenya even if the child may be of non-kenyans can hope to scale the ladder of success in their careers without having necessarily to know anybody i like to think that that kenya can come where sanitation cleanliness safe clean drinkable water shall be available for all without discrimination whatsoever i also like to think that counties shall utilize their money to compete fairly among us their league to provide services for their people i like to think someday those who are extremely rich shall not determine the affairs of our country well that is ambitious to think but i hope to think so i hope and i like thinking i like to think that someday poverty shall leave the face of our villages i envision a society where regardless of how much money you have you are not cut above the rest when it comes to access to public utilities water education health care security uh, access to opportunities in and out of the country a country where absolutely everybody has a visa or rather a passport that you have your own passport is a testament that East African Federation works for all 310 million people mine would be sometimes called utopic thinking but I am of that political ideology near leftist near rightist near centrist that all of us someday shall have enough for ourselves and day we shall defeat diseases the day we shall defeat ignorance the day we shall vanquish wars and conflicts where the greed shall be obliterated by satisfied mankind who will have enough for themselves i think in a nutshell this is the politics i envisage will be good for our country i have thought in the last few days whether i made the right choice to join politics and sometimes whether i am fair to my thinking if i spend much of my time thinking about the welfare of the republic sometimes i envy the fox inside the thousands of kilometers from the tarmac who are not concerned beyond their cow beyond their farm and beyond their children and traditional dances sometimes called primitive 
people who do not care much about internet, about electricity, about flowing clean water, if there shall be rains, if there shall be rivers that is sufficient for their communal living, untainted by technology, power, politics, greed and sex. Sometimes I've come to think those people know peace more than we shall ever do because us are already tainted by civilization. Shall such a Kenya come? All the people shall know peace. Of whether that Kenya shall come, I don't know. I sincerely hope that Kenya shall come. Our children will inherit our mess. They shall inherit not necessarily our hopes. They may inherit our burdens. But I hope they shall create a society of a template equal for all and equitable to all. Because in the end, we have a great country. In the end, this is the only home on earth that we shall call home. Kenya is our country. Whether we are disgruntled today or we have been disgruntled cumulatively over the decades prior, Kenya is our home. The Kenyans who are watching me from yonder, from America, from Asia, from Europe, from whichever other parts of the world in the deepest of islands inside Pacific and uh, South China Sea, Kenyans who are watching me listening to this video agree with me that they are never home until when they shall return home when they shall come home they shall find themselves at peace no matter how much one is making outside their nation one is never fully satisfied and the demons that haunts men who have left their villages shall never let them until the grave is dug i met a guy in canada who said he shall never return to Kenya. Following day, I was told by his friend, he has had bouts of depressive thoughts when he thinks about his home in Kisi. So I did not know the person to trust, the one who had told me he'll never come back, or the man I was told he is, when reality sink. And so to the political class, Mr. President, uh, the members of parliament, the governors and the senators, if you dream of a country, would you dream of a country you are leading? If you dream of a country after you, would you dream of a county that you are leading as a governor? Would you be proud standing on the other side of the air, engaging the living while you are the dead, asking and telling them that you are and were the governor of that county? Are you doing the posterity justice with the money that you get? Are you doing justice or are you rationalizing the wastage, rationalizing the loot, rationalizing the pilferage? The things you are doing with the country money and with the county money today, would you be proud of it a hundred years from now? By the way, 21, 24, all of us shall be dead, forgotten, rotten we shall be in the process of becoming fuel the petrol the diesel the gasoline all of us including my children the last one is about two years so 2021 is 100 years from now so she she will be 98 100 i think she'll not be alive the youngest all of us will be dead shall we account for that kenya these are the salient questions that have invaded my thinking lately and have not dis have not disapproved my hope i'm not going to be disillusioned and i'm going to hold faith that no matter the political mistakes no matter the mess and quagmire that we seem today in politically one day we shall get it right if we don't our children shall get it if they don't their children shall get it right there shall be roads there shall be waters, there shall be highways, we shall feed our children, we shall educate them all, we shall treat them all, we shall take care of the old, we shall rise above pettiness and trivia, and when that day has come, we shall say, Hallelujah!